This is cool, man. We love watching this guy play. I used to wear the horns back in the day. Now they're the big show. They're in L.A. And uh, they got these awesome rookies, man. And one of them, Puka Nakua. Uh, a lot of fun to watch. And a big dude, man. Yeah. A big dude. Welcome to the Toyota Content Center, man. How you doing? Life is good. It's been a good week out here in Las Vegas as well. Dude, You're I, I got to say, like, you deserve some sort of an award for Offensive Rookie of the Year. <laughs> I mean, it's just that, like, C.J. Stroud is just... CJ, he's, he's balling. He's quarterback and he's <laughs> yeah. insane. But, bro, you had such an awesome year. I mean, you know, they found you a little bit later in the draft. And um, I wonder for you when you realize, like, hey, I got it, bro. Like, I'm sure you're confident, but it takes, like, making a play in camp or something. What was it for you? Yeah, 100%. Uh, one of the deep, one of the first practices in OTAs on, it was before camp. Of, number one is our corner who comes up and guard me. I get a rep with the ones. Matthew's throwing me the ball, and it's like I had a five-yard in, like a, a – and I, but I, I won. Beat him off the line of scrimmage, a smooth catch transition, made a move on the post safety, and I was just like, damn. Like, it clicked in my – I felt I was like, man, I don't know how – if that was, it was a five-yard route. I was like, it wasn't anything crazy, but I was like, damn. I, I beat the guy who was number one. If you're a corner play number one, like – you got to be the guy. It's an NFL guy. Dude. Yeah, exactly. So just my confidence was able to skyrocket from there, and then everything just kind of took off. Hey, on the other side of the coin, what about like a welcome to the NFL moment where you, you know, obviously that was a great rep for you and kind of a cool moment when you're like, hey, I belong. Like, you know, you dream of playing the NFL, but was there ever like a more sobering thought where you're like, oh, shit, like I got my work cut out for me too. Like I yeah. better I better work work a bit. Well, 1,000 percent. It was uh, week one in Seattle. We have a, we have a crack toss play, and uh, we have the, I'm pulling right behind our our, our tackle yep. guard. So I, I'm I'm cut split already, and we had already done some stuff. Seattle's already calling me out. They didn't see me yeah. hit a couple one blocks. So they're like, "All right, Pook, watch the motion, watch the motion." I'm like peeking out my peripheral because Bobby Wagner's got the freaking dark <laughs> visor, and I can't see where his yeah. eyes are at. So I'm like, "Okay, don't give it away, don't give it away." But I gotta go. As soon as I go, like I, I whip my head to the side, like we're on the right hash, and I, I can see like I. I as soon as I point, I'm looking at our sideline. So I'm go, I'm seeing, and then I like, I'm getting ready to insert on the other C gap. And as soon as I like go to turn, boom, I just get flat. And I'm looking <laughs> up at the sky, and I'm like, I bounce on the, uh, the ground like three times. And then we had a tackle for loss for like five yards. And the D tackle is like, I literally look like this, and I was in, the, like, yeah. I was in there, and I was like, what in the world just happened? And then like, we're all in the huddle, like, yeah, sorry, we got hit on the pool. And I was like, well, I got hit on the pool too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> was it great, dude? You, Come on, man, you used to be an offensive lineman, right? You're, yeah, you're exactly. To, <laughs> yeah, dude, he was a big body. I yeah. just realized that, like back in the day, they told us you were like in Pee Wee, and growing up, you were a tackle. Yeah. Yes, I was, and it wasn't great. I know. So you got those, those pictures. Yeah, they they are very they are very interesting for sure. I was, tell us what does Puka big. mean as a nickname? So uh, my grandma's from Western Samoa, and yeah. my grandma was the one who gave it, uh, me that nickname. But it means fat and chubby. Like it was like my, <laughs> my childhood man. Yeah. yeah, but when dudes run up on you, they're like, man, this is a big dude. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, being a big body guy, man. I love the connection between you and Matt. And Cooper, because, you know, like, he's got that strong arm. He could put it anywhere on the field. And it's crazy to me because he's older. He's got gray hair. <laughs> yeah, he but that arm is, like, 23. Yeah. Are you able to – you just marvel at the throws he makes in practice and oh, in games? Especially – that was, like, one of the first things. I mean, I know the, the everybody knows, like – especially being a new era kid, like the Patrick Mahomes no look, but then it was like, our, in our team meetings, like they're, we're showing old Lions tape of Matthew ripping it, and then every day I practice, like, whether they're at the, he's extending the play just a little bit, but you know he's not, not extending the play to run the ball, he's waiting for you to get open, because he's ready to absolutely rip that ball to you, and he can't put it anywhere, so it makes it so fun, and then, yeah, with him and Coop out there, like, the, the connection and their confidence, just, uh, it makes everything a blast. And you can't, you can't kill Matt. Like, he's so tough, bro. Oh I mean, y'all got a really tough team. I can tell you're a dog, bro. Like, that's why we really like you. But Matt is just so tough. I've seen him take so many big hits. And then, you know, like seeing him in that Detroit game, which was yeah. such a physical game, yeah, bro. Was, you could tell watching on TV. Yeah. Like, if you played in those games, you're like, man, these dudes are out there thumping. Yep. The hit on Higby, like, I, I hope he's good. I hope yep. he comes back. The hit on Matt and when he got up, yeah. I was like, you guys were just trading blows. Talk about the atmosphere in that game in particular because that's your first real taste of 
of being on a stage like that. Yeah, a hundred percent. It was the best environment as a competitor like that you want to be in. Like uh, the whole place rooting against you. You rocking with the fifty three guys wearing the same uniform as you, and you know like you were going to war with those guys. And it was us versus everybody else out there. So it, it was a it was a great environment. I'm talking about wearing the huddle and like everywhere, everybody's close. Matthew's yeah. down on the knee, every, looking up, and I'm like I'm on like I'm like laying on the floor because I'm like I can't hear. I was like the sound waves <laughs> got to get to me somehow, bro. Like our you know if, if you coach me base play calls are not short so i'm like he's out here reading like a page of a harry potter book and i'm like all right bro wait what's the can bro you said that we have another play after that i'm like i'm like bro, and he's like oh here, here we got 15 seconds and i'm like i have not you you didn't tag me i'm missing the whole play and you want me to run out and get set dude like give me give me take. i'm dumb we're done well i don't want to say that bo's really smart but like, our calls are like you know, over, yeah. like, yeah. like, like hot heat. Like they're, they're actually different Literally, hot heat. We had a call in, in uh, Philly. We ran it probably like 30 times a game. It was just Jet 53. Jet 53, <laughs> bro. Jet 53. Hey, that's how quick I get my assignments. Yeah. So tell me, give me like a Sean McVay play. Hmm. Like, do you remember one that you can recite? Like how long do they actually take to get out of mat? Uh, we could go like Lab Rat to Wymo, South Right Clamp. <laughs> uh, Kill spider two wide banana. My ADHD. I'm, I'm, hey, yeah, I'm my ADHD. Going. I'm already yeah. out. I'm like, oh. yeah. I'm like, what? That's why I'd be sitting there sometimes. And like, man. And when he doesn't tag me specifically, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like a concept. Like it's just like a one word or where the whole everybody's supposed to remember it. I'm like, that's the worst play. I like, I hate, those, <laughs> I hate those plays. And they're always good. Like it's a great concept and it's always set up. But I'm like, coach, you gotta. You're asking me to remember what everybody else is doing and my yeah. round. Like that's the number but one. That, no, but, no. But the details with him, like what I've heard. Beach, what I've heard, yo, what up, dude? All the big bodies, <laughs> all the big bodies. You look great, huh? Yeah, <laughs> bro, he looks great. <laughs> uh, Amazing. Uh, so, anyways, like what I've heard about McVeigh is the detail. You know, like if you're gonna split here, like it, a couple inches is gonna make the whole difference. You know, like where you're aligned and then the motion, the timing of it, how detail oriented is is he? And like, what's an example of the exact science that it comes down to with him? Yeah, a hundred percent. It's like I, you guys know with the schedule of like having a walkthrough before our actual practice, and those walkthroughs for us, especially with all the motions, is so funny. I think what like what, uh, Coop got back week five, and I think week six uh, we played the Cardinals. They they ran a lot of like a three high cover four and Tampa two stuff, but with three, they play three safeties. So we're like, we're, we're doing all these man zone indicators and we're just like fake, fake fly motion all the way across the field and then fly all the way back to outside the numbers and then run a shallow route. And it's like, all that's getting tagged in the play and coach McVay's like, all right. So if you don't, if you do this first motion and we, we get the defender to fly with us, okay, we obviously got our man indicator, but now we're going to can the play without like saying that we're going to can the play. Like we already know what we got. So we go and it's like, then when he gets to talk about the run, but the run plays, he's like, all right, I'm going to put you in a close split. The two inches you cut is going to make the backer relate to you, and the safety is going to come down and fit. And the, the right guard's eye progression is going to go backer to safety. So in order for you to be in your cut split, you got to go – You got your angle of uh, – like your takeoff angle has to be flat and right there now because that safety has a beat on you because our guard's going out to the backer all the way over there. So it's like – him, he, the way he talks about it is absolutely insane. Yeah, I love that attention to detail, that man. Is, uh, but it's great. You got a rookie here. I know. I'm not pumping his tires, but yeah. this guy's like a vet, bro. <laughs> I know. Hey, you're a smart player, I mean, man. I, we'd I love to play with that. this guy, man. He, he's got his stuff down. And you got to in that offense, man. I mean, 100%. all the details matter. Um, you know, when it comes to the run game, I know you're a big body. Like, you mix it up. Hell yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that a point of pride for you guys? A hundred percent. I think it comes from our leader. That's Coop, especially Coop. He he does that all the time. And when you see the guy who's the who the triple crown winner catching up. Uh, 20 touchdowns and going for 100 balls going for almost 2,000 like and then he's out there in the duo blocks inserting in the C gap and doing everything so it's like well, as a receiver like that's that's how you you beat that's the, the part of being a, a complete wide receiver and that's yeah. who we see every single day so it's like oh I have no option and then like no choice but to come in yeah. and like accept that role of like I'm here I'm here to be a part of the run game if the leader's doing it you gotta do it too exactly, I, I got a question for you so obviously with Cooper it's you know, as a young player coming into the league, you find these guys that you emulate and you try to learn as much as you can from them, like, you know, steal little parts of their game, learn all, all their tricks and, 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 you know, just kind of grill them and learn from them. So you have that in Cooper on your team, in your locker room, in your meeting room. Yeah. But is there anyone else across the league that you want to, you know, try to emulate or you model your game off or you're like, hey, I really like this guy as a player. I see a lot. Like, I want to take some of his game. You yeah, I, I love watching uh, Justin Jefferson and actually Mike Evans. Yeah. So I, yeah. my, Mike Evans was one of the guys, uh, one of my college teammates showed me 
and he's like, man, I, I think you like you would yeah. like Mike Evans. So and uh, somebody who's super physical guy, but yeah. also can can run every route you ask him. Yeah. As a wide receiver gets moved in the inside, moved on the outside. Catch radius is absolutely insane. insane. And like, yeah. yeah, somebody who like involves like um, epitomizes like uh, being a physical. Yeah, every part about his what he does is physical, and I love watching him. We were saying yesterday, Mike, like when he's trying to beat guys off the line and press corners and stuff, he's almost hitting like D line pass rushing moves. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. There's a, there's like a lot of commonality over. in what you guys do and what we do. 100. percent I, I would love if I could, if I could play another position. I would let me let me rush the edge. Like let me stand yeah, let's out. Go. Come on over to the dark side. Hey, yeah. It's speed to power. Like, let me do a release. I'm I'm a double you up, and as soon as you set your feet, I'm gonna run right hey. through your chest. Yeah, because that's I, the one I, thing I, you don't get to do no, for as long. Like yeah, we get yeah. to push them all the way back into the quarterback. Yeah, that's why I've, I've got my coach always. Tell, he's like, man, you guys, yeah. wide receiver. Yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, you guys pick. You guys are you work edges, work edges. Yeah. But that's what my coach always says. As a wide receiver, you're supposed to work edges. But he's like, Pook, you can't just run down the middle of these guys. I'm like, coach, he's too little. I already Same got him. I used to tell Bo. Set his feet up. Rush. I used to tell Bo. I was like, you know, attack half man, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> 330 pounds. Hey, talk about a defensive lineman here. We can't, we can't have you on here without asking you about, in my opinion, the single scariest guy I've ever ever played with. And he was a rookie. Oh. Aaron Donald. He is. I, I have a funny story. So, uh, rookies are. We had 40 rookies during the the our OTAs and stuff. I see AD working out over there. He's got the lifting coach with him. Coach Love, and he's just working out by himself. He's probably been there. We had the conditioning test, and then we had to come do the rookie test. But he's been lifting this whole time, so it's like two hours. We're like we're in there, and he's out there. He's got the one eighties or somewhere by the the the, dumb, the the dumbbell rack. Rose with one eighty. Doing rows with the 180. I don't see him. I have my back. I'm doing the massage gun on my shoulder, about to get ready for the workout, and all I hear is move and i'm like <laughs> like i dropped dropped the thera gun like jump and i turn around it's ad and i like i like i move but i'm like i guess i didn't move out the way enough because I, <laughs> I, I just turned around and like just started doing the gun on the other side he said move again I I ran out the weight room. I I I ran out the weight room. I act like I had to use the bathroom when I came. Still running. Yeah, no, literally. I don't blame you, dude. That's how he got here. He just ran. <laughs> it Bro. was so much fear filled filled. I was filled with so much fear. Yeah. He just he's so he's such a great dude. Oh, the you best. know I'm sure he's a great vet, but he's so he can be so violent. Yeah. Oh. You know, and he can control that violence. Yeah. In a way that nobody I ever played with could. Yeah. You talk about the handwork. Oh my. The I mean, it's precision. Like, yeah. It's unreal it's moving a million miles an hour yeah. and then this you know i don't know if you've seen this yet but do not if you're an offensive lineman in practice just it's not worth the the last shove no yeah. oh never bro it ain't worth it <laughs> i think one of our you rookie, got the wrong one yeah one of our rookie uh, guards steve avila he actually played uh, uh, all every, every snap so steve is the man but i know like, we were talking about how it was for him like the first like had to practice during training camp going against AD. Like he's like, bro, I thought they should cut me. He's like, I, I'm terrible at football. Like yeah. I should never put the pads on ever make again. Make you feel that way. Talk about welcome to the NFL moment. That's he'll a make, tough matchup for you. He'll him. make you feel that way if you play with him on the D line yeah. because I remember one of the training camp open practices. We were running like three man fronts, and I was defensive end, and I had like a little ding, so I ran off to get some treatment. AD trots out there and he's dogging the guy that's been blocking me. He's he's like the best edge rusher I've ever seen. You know what I did? I limped my ass back out there. I was like, you ain't getting my reps, buddy. Um, when it comes exactly. to like AD, you obviously see him every day, but how about a guy that you were like, oh, that guy's the truth. Whether it's a defensive lineman or a linebacker or a corner that you played this year and you were like, that's that dude. Uh, I may be a little biased, but just because he's a BYU alumni, but uh, and he's also plays for uh, the other team that we don't really like that up. But Fred Warner, I mean, uh, I, oh, yeah. I my, Fred played with my older brother at BYU, so I saw Fred when he was wearing number 34, and nobody really knew who Fred was yet. So it's been uh, obviously I haven't seen uh, seen his journey has been absolutely crazy, but. Uh, I remember we played them week two, and I got tackled, and he was like, yeah, Pook, like, he, uh, the, I got tackled by three dudes, yeah, he's on top of me, and I'm like, the best linebacker in the game, he's like, yeah, Pook, I got you, dog, and I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I can't breathe, can you hurry up, please? Yeah. Like, Get off me, bro. <laughs> did, did, did your brother play for Bronco? Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, I know Bronco, because he was at Virginia yeah. for a while, Yeah, he and could, uh, yeah. I still talk to him a little bit. He's the man. He's Great the guy, man. dude. Yeah. Great guy. My brother, yeah, my brother's... Kalani was uh, my okay. brother last year. Yeah, I know he had the whole staff out there. I bet yeah. you know a bunch of the same guys, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, so you talked about Fred Warner, a great player, and one of th one thing I love about your game is like your toughness. You're not afraid to, you know, catch the ball in the mi in the middle of the field, get physical. So what's it like when you when you know that that's going to be a huge role for you, you know, on game day, and then you know, understand that there's guys like Roquan Smith, Fred <laughs> Warner, just lurking over there in the middle of the field. Yeah, uh, it's definitely not an easy one. I, I live in the sauna and the cold tub. Like all <laughs> I, 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 for after Sunday, like I'm just sitting there. there. It's like I, if I'm not playing video games, I'm sitting in, yeah. in, in that spot because I need it. Hey, I'm happy you brought that up, Matt, actually, man. I know uh, I'm a big gamer myself. Oh, yeah, yeah this is the good one. I want to talk it. to you about that. <laughs> yeah, what's your uh, What's your game of choice? And what's your, like, are you a PC gamer? Are you on PS5? I, what do you uh, I have PS5. I just got a PC, I, though. And, oh, and, bro, oh my, it changed my... Uh, it's a whole new world, bro. No, you play I, Madden? I do. I just barely started recently. Can we play a game at some point, you and me? 100%. I'm gonna get your tag because yeah. I'm gonna work you with the Rams. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you with you because hey, I, 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 I dubbed my kid the other day with Puka and Cooper. Hey. Yeah, bro. I love to hear that. Y'all are too smooth. I get the I got the McVay playbook. It's lethal. Oh, it's crazy. What else you play? Uh, I play the uh, Warzone Resurgence, and then I dabble in a little bit of Fortnite. I've been trying to get into some new game. I know PC hey, is like a lot of interactive there's a, you get a Steam like Deck. That. Yeah, I have a Steam Deck, which is like I play PC, but uh -huh. just for like mobile gaming when you're traveling and stuff. But I play a lot of uh, Overwatch. Ooh, okay. Which is like a weird fucking game, but I think you like it. You uh, ever play Apex then? Apex too? Legends. Okay. I, say, I used yeah. to dabble in Apex, yeah. but but Apex I remember the guys really got fast. small, and then uh, I used to the, the rope guy. Yeah. I thought he was okay. Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's you guys are really nerding out here. You guys lost me. When it got to like Overwatch, I'm shielding up over here. Yeah, I, I put one disc in and it yeah. stays in for like two months. Yeah. I just play the same game. Well, Chris is joking, but his kids are nasty at Switch. I go to his house and he's got. Oh, they're running in 2K. Wow. Un I unbelievable. There's a seven year old, he'll run. Uh, he's like, yeah. he's good. He did it. Yeah. He did a Euro step in basketball in real life last week. He yeah. didn't get it from me. He just he picks it up off the of 2K. Nah, he got that from Meg. Yeah, he got it from Meg. He got it from my wife. Um, how about how about your favorite? Stadium that you've played in this year, like a road stadium. What was your favorite trip? Uh, Lambo. I, I grew up a Packers yeah. fan, and oh, that, that wow. yeah, so that was that was surreal. It was absolutely. It was it was actually a good Green Bay day too. It was we got a little bit of rain, but it was like just it was cold, but it was yeah. cloudy, no rain. It was it was sweet. Do you like playing in the cold with your background to like BYU and stuff? I actually do. I love because I actually love wearing the little ski mask and stuff. I think it's cool. yeah, it's, <laughs> and it's you, the best. Yeah, and to it, have that under your helmet, it's way better than all, than all the photos and stuff. But then you also like when you're talking trash, like you can't see anything. It's like I, I can move my helmet, but it's also like I'm running, so my helmet's moving <laughs> anyway. But now I have nothing. Like my whole mouth is covered. I can unload. Like you do, you, do you tee do you, off? Yeah, how, how how does the lettuce work <laughs> on game day with with the hair? Because you got good lettuce. Like, Oh, yeah, I, I got to take the bun out and stuff, and I, I just let it all just slick back over there and let, let a little bit of it flow. Are you going to keep out. growing it? I think so. I, it's been tough. I, I have uh, almost a year from my combine training to, yeah, from. Keep yeah. growing it, man. Hey, <laughs> we love talking to you, bro. Hope you come yeah. on again. This uh, guy's awesome, man. I've heard nothing but yeah, great things great about vibes, my old bro. Rams buddies. Uh, continued success, man, and good yeah. luck to you. Yeah, I'll make sure I tell Big Rob I, I, met, the, I met the OGs. Sure. Yeah. Come on, OGs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A couple washed up dudes. Absolutely, man. We'll, get, we'll see you on the sticks. Yes, sir. On the I sticks. It. It'll be fun. <laughs>